All right, so we're live back again on episode three of the I'm Down TV podcast, where we're bringing you news. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not news reporters. But this is the first official episode where we are, I don't know what I'm talking about, either, where we are, <laughs> where we are going to answer your questions. This is hashtag we answer don't judge us. Hashtag, I'm just saying. Hashtag, I don't stand behind the allegations. Hashtag, what? Uh, if she asks her on a date, should she pay? Uh, hashtag, uh, we're not feminine. Hashtag, hashtag, <laughs> flexing too strong. Uh, wait, no, no, we're not feminist. We support feminism. We support the likes. <laughs> just For <kidding>. sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, but let's explain to them why you're right, right. doing this. So, um, as I was trying to explain to Chris earlier, so I had a co worker bring up a topic to me right she's like oh i think i know what you guys should talk about on your next podcast so i was like all right so let's hear it so she said um answer the question what if a girl asks you out on a date should she pay right now i think if you guys know us and you're gonna get to know us a little bit today right because you know what i feel like i feel like we haven't formally formally like really introduced ourselves That's a good point. which is yeah. crazy so without further ado I'm one of your hosts, George. This is another host, Chris. And together we make two halves of the. I'm down. One half of the. Wait, wait, are you together, right? <laughs> together on the I'm down TV. I know you were You said one half or two halves. <laughs> one, half, two halves. <laughs> that's, one, that's, one and one together, <laughs> bam. We blend it together like Spider Man rings, and bam, we're popping. You know how it is. <laughs> and, alright, so this is this is an important question, um, an interesting question for us, and, um, so just to kind of get an opposing view, what do you think? If a girl asks you out on a date, should you pay, yes or no? I think maybe. Ex- nah, yeah, like, nah, I don't know about that. Because, yeah, uh, <clears throat> let me get all, you know. So what happens is that, <laughs> you know, when the bees and the birds. Oh, <laughs> no, no, oh. No, no. I'm going to cross my legs for this. <laughs> it says, you know, it's because this fake like with a bottle of water, just like you have a wine. But no, let me get a little serious, you guys. So, I'm all for, you know, girls taking the step of saying, you know what, we're in the 21st century. I, got, I don't have to wait for a guy to ask me out. I see the right opportunity. I see he's the right guy. Why not? You know, take the chance. Right? But there are, I believe that there also has to be a balance. Right? Because, you know, imagine like she takes you to McDonald's. Yo, you better pay for my whole meal. Right? You better pay for more questions. And I want a king size, like big, huge, right? I want extra fries and a frappe. You know, I don't eat McDonald's, but you know, you guys get the kitchen. But if you take me to like a super expensive restaurant, I think I'll be guilt tripped into saying, uh, let's split. I mean, I don't want to split, but I guess I have to. Yeah. But honestly, I'll probably be more guilt tripped into saying I'll pay. Oh, okay. Which I would hate. That's why I'm always here to get McDonald's. Because really? I'd be like, no, I'm okay, I'm full, even though I just, I just, I just don't like that place. <laughs> so, uh, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha. But it depends the location. Uh, at least in my view. Okay. Well, in my opinion, hell no, you should not pay. Hell no, you should not pay. <laughs> okay? Now, let me make this very clear for everybody. And this is one problem that I have with society and women in society nowadays, right? That I do <laughs> not condone this view. Before he says it's, them, it's okay. I do not condone it's this okay. view. Now, I'm not, not, I am in no way, shape, or form saying I have a problem with women because I have a sister, I have a mother that I love dearly. I have a lot of female friends I love dearly, so I do appreciate women in every aspect, period. But, 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 I'm not standing behind those allegations. That's my hashtag. But, I will say this. In a world where women, more than ever, right, are fighting for equality, being equal, being treated, okay, I'm all for that. What I'm not for is when girls get to pick and choose what they get to be equal for and not equal for. Yeah, that's a good point. Because that's the one oh, thing that I hate. Oh, I hate that. Point. Now, perfect example, right? Retweet. In society, we as men have to ask the woman out as a man, take pick her up, take her to dinner. But you know why, right? Why? Gender roles. That. Mm-hmm. And also because you were raised Hispanic. <laughs> Well, no, no, no. I think that's a society thing, period. No, 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 but Hispanic, bro, my father, you know, bless his soul, he's amazing, dude. Okay. But this dude is all about you pay for all her stuff. You do all her, do you, yeah. you, 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 you. And I'm like, 
Uh, you, 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 you does not pay for my bank account. If I, you guys heard episode two, I am an overdraft. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, I support you, dad. I feel you, dad. But I can't afford it, dad. Okay, look, this, this is my thing. This is my thing. So if I'm going out, right, with a female friend, and I'm talking about a genuine female friend, not a friend, a real female friend, I have no, like, if I'm going out with any friend, I have no problem paying, right? That's my thing. I have no problem paying for you at all whatsoever, right? But when it comes down to someone that I do not know very well, right? I haven't really spent much time with you. I This is our first day, so we're getting to know each other. I'm just not big. Especially if you ask me. That means you took an interest in me. The fact that you took the step to say, you know, slide in my DMs. Because most of the time you're going to slide in my DMs. You're not about to reach out to me while I'm walking out of the yeah, street. Yeah, slide because he's over those pictures when he's doing this. Hey. No, George looks to the side. Hey. That's like, you like one of those pictures, so you were like, let me take my shot. <laughs> That's what it is, right? I know, and I know. Look, I know. look, whatever it is, I'm not mad at you taking your shot. Take your shot at me. Please, please do so. You know what I'm saying? Go on the DMs. But only you can afford to take me out of eat, basically. No, that's not, that's basically, not what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So there's the thing. If you decide, right, that you do not care about women's rights or women equality, right? Like, I know a few girls that don't. Are there the few girls that really don't care about that? Like, I don't care. I just want to live my life. Cool. Fine. Then we will not be going out on a date. <laughs> I want you to know that right off the bat. I'm not a date sure Let me ask a question. Because I was thinking about it now that you were saying it. And I think that I changed my answer. Because it's still maybe. But I was like, maybe if, if she asked me on a date and I'm not interested, then I'm making her pay. Because it's a free meal. Man, you're a gold digger. You're a special <laughs> kind of gold digger. I said she a gold digger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're like, that's the one that broke, nigga. <laughs> Look, I will say this. I will say this. That's a good point. But I will say this. First and foremost... If you ask me out on a date, right, and I decide to go out with you, I absolutely feel like you should pay. Do not, in any way, shape, or form, do not want to hear anybody comment that, oh, that makes you less of a man, blah, 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 because then my question, right, is going to be, does that make you less of a woman? If you pay? Yeah. No, that just, I mean, it, it also depends on the guy you ask out. Because some guys are so insecure, they feel emasculated. Like, hold up. No, no. I take care of me. That's no, no, no. Right no, 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 no. Hold up. Got. She can take care of me. Preach. I'll take it. <laughs> you know, no, guys don't want a girl to make more money than them. Yeah, no. Bro, you crazy. I would love to be a stay-at-home dad. I'll be recording this videos non-stop. Non stop Absolutely. And she can afford to take me. And I got expensive taste. If she can feed my taste and feed your taste, Absolutely. you gonna, you gonna complain? No. You know, but but we talk about gender roles, and we do the same crap. Okay, so look, there's the thing. So the problem with that right there is that the whole feeling emasculated thing is because mm -hmm. if you have to ask your woman, oh, you know, let me borrow twenty dollars to put some gas. Oh, no, man, no, 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 uh, we got a problem. <laughs> now, look, listen to me. Listen, listen, didn't hit you. I will say this. I will say this. If you, if that makes you happy, you have no problem as a man to say that, as a woman to deal with that, then go about your life. You get me? No, 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 but about your life. No, no, but also, also, look. If you ask one time, we all go through struggles one time. Yeah. But if you're daily like, hey, hey, mama, hey, little girl, hey, shawty, oh, I don't know what you be calling your girl, you know. Let me have twenty. I need a haircut. Damn, yeah, yeah. Let me have twenty. I need gas. Let me all, you know, tell you, I don't got lunch money. Every time, then oh. I'm gonna tell you this, girls. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. <laughs> Yo, this man is wild right now. Look, man. Dude, to, to get to get this wagon back on the road, right? This is basically what I'm saying. I feel that there is two sides to this coin, period, right? You're either the person that agrees or disagrees, period. That's as simple as that, right? I will not change my views on that. I feel very strongly about that because it just makes sense. Now, as a man, I'm expected to pay for things. I'm expected to provide. I'm expected to be a protector. I understand that. I understand that. And, and realize, I understand it doesn't mean I agree with it, though. You know what I mean? Yeah, That's important, yeah, right? Because you understand something doesn't necessarily mean you agree with it. Now, this is something I do not condone at all, right? Which is any type of domestic violence, oh, any no, man no, hitting no, a woman, no. I do not, right? And not only physical. Yes, mental, mental, emotional, verbal, all those exactly. things are violence. Exactly. It's not correct. But, but, and there is no justification, but my butt comes in. As a woman, right? As a woman... You should not, in any way, shape, or form, put your hands on a man either. Oh, no, no, right? No. Ever. Because what happens is, a man, just like you're a woman, is a human being, has a breaking point. Right? A point where we break. You're going to push buttons that you do not want to push. And when you face those consequences, then it's, oh, oh, 
He, right? Look, Kevin Hart has the funniest, funniest joke of that all time, right? If you go back to Kevin Hart, I don't remember if it was seriously funny, I don't remember, right? But he says, women, all right, have that tendency to say, oh, you're going to hit me? You're going to hit me? Hit me? Hit me? Then pop, 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 you know? Ah, ah, you're going to act crazy, you know? Like, oh my God, he <laughs> can lay his hands on me. You know what I mean? Like, like again, I do not condone any domestic violence at all. But as a woman, you should not put your hands on a man, right? That's the same exact thing that we're talking about when it comes to paying for a meal. Now, not the action itself, but like you guys are talking about the gender rules. You get me? Just, just how that plays out. So, but, but uh, you know what my, my issue is? Is that sometimes in trying to prove you are like a feminist or you're independent, women try to, to like enforce the ideas. It's like, man, look, if you're dealing with the right people... They'll respect you and they'll understand, you know, you're, you're a feminist, you believe in independence, you believe that you are equal, and I agree. You know, if a woman does the same job as a man, she should get paid the same thing. If she can do it at the same standard. And I guarantee you, I know women that work better than men. So, you know, because I know women that are more dedicated, more responsible, intelligent than men. So, we're, I'm all about equality, you know. And so we got to make sure that we, if we're going to be equal, then let's be equal in every area. Yeah. Right, just like you were saying, you know, the abuse and, and everything. And don't pick and choose. And don't pick, where they get exactly, to the it, it, it's not like you know this convenes me, so I, I take that. Oh, but that doesn't work for me. Oh. You know, you know, and the same thing is, I, I think as guys, you gotta be confident enough to say, yo, she's paying for me. That's cool. Yeah, absolutely. you know, because I think real, like, like real growth in a relationship would be when there's balance. Yeah, if a guy has to buy everything for the girl. You know, yeah, it, if the it, it girl has to buy everything for the guy, it, it, it eventually it'll become a burden. It, it, so, well, and my question is are you dating or do you have a child now? Exactly. That's, <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's exactly what it comes down to. But, you know, uh, so, to get like, you know, to the details okay. specific of this question, though, it is about whether or not the woman should pay. I think, yes, the woman should be allowed to pay. Now, with that being said, though, there are definitely some guys will be like, no, 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 I got it, or oh, we could go half. Uh, what they call that? Uh, Swedish or something like that? Going, I forgot what they call that. When the, both of them pay, what's that called? You don't, you never heard that term? I don't know what kind of videos you watch, George, but those oh, Swedish videos here. Bro, <laughs> man, it's called going, man, yeah, some of y'all hearing this, y'all know what that thing is called. I forgot what it's called. I think it's going like, you, you know, it, just put it at the bottom, because yeah. I have no clue what he's talking about. I, probably, I think it's going Swedish, something like that. It's basically the man, the woman, both. Look, I'm, I agree a lot with that. Our producer, that, our producer is giving us a note. Half seas, give us a second, give us a second. Seas, it says, teamwork. Okay. Teamwork makes the dream work. I kind of like that one. So the same thing that we're talking about. So, yes, look, essentially, at the end of the day, yes, I, I feel as though a woman can pay and should pay. Just like if I ask you out on a date, I'm expected to pick you up. And drop you off. I'm expected to pay for your dinner. I'll pay for your Uber, but I'm not. I'm not yeah, taking you. Is it one night stand? <laughs> no, man. Like, like, think about it. Why don't you live in the opposite direction? Well, then you guys can meet up. Okay. You guys can meet up. That's that's. Okay. And I should have a car. I'm not paying for the Uber, but we can meet up. I guess <laughs> guys, we can meet up. I'm not paying for the Uber. You'll find it like a strategic spot where there's like the train passing that's by. Not a one night stand. I'm not paying for your Uber. That's ridiculous. No, if you wanna, if, especially if you have no car, okay, I'm gonna meet you at such and such place, which I've I've done before. Like, okay, let's meet up someplace. Yeah, like, you sure. know, let's have a conversation. Cool, but I mean, if we're especially like look. Especially here in Miami, we have the bougie of the bougie, period. You know, like if you're a remotely pretty girl in Miami, 9 out of 10, you're leaving me on red. 9 <laughs> out of 10, it's just a valid point. You're either going to leave me on red or you're going to give me some dry answer. Sadly. So, so George Sadly. is looking for that 1 out of 10. That's you, girl. That's you. <laughs> Hit that DM. <laughs> DM Hit that DM. Say something silly. You know what I mean? And say, I'm, I'm the one. I think, I think, I'll tell you what. And that my, uh... Un, I, this guy's not the producer, but what are we gonna call him? <laughs> I know, he's, he's not like a very professional show, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm sorry, you know we in the news. Sorry, our producer's just, just uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but like my my uh, ingenious friend over here ingenious, yeah. <laughs> brought up to me uh, before the dumbest thing I've ever wrote to a girl on the DM on the whim, like 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 really just uh let's do it is I believe the statement was. My number three button on my, my on my microwave is messed up. Well, it just blew up. Can I use yours? I'll never forget this. My number three. Because the number three button on my microwave just blew up, right? Can I use yours? I use this line as an experimental thing. This was back like this was what, like three years ago, three years ago or so. I don't know what happened to the McDonald's. Okay, now 
This line why, why the number failed three? horribly. Why the number three? I have no idea. Bro, I, this I, was listening. Who comes up with this line? You know what I heard? You know what I heard that was great? Uh, some guy was like uh, on, on Tinder. And so, you know, he'll swipe right or whatever and then reply. And he'll be like, I'm going to Whole Foods. You need something? <laughs> that was his big line. I'm not going to lie. Look, that's that first one, conversation. That one, Always first that conversation. That was exactly the one that he gave me. He, he told me, tell a girl, um... McDonald's got apple pies two for one. Do you want one? <laughs> and it worked. That is this so is, good. It that worked. So it was good. so good. It worked. That is so but good. You know, I'll tell you what the problem was there. It was one of those pretty girls on Instagram. She, she like, laughed. Like she loved. She said something like that. And then the next one, she left me on red. So, oh. <laughs> oh. We took the L. We took it. Look. I'm lessons. Out. Remember. Episode one. Lessons, not L's. Lessons. <laughs> It's gonna be actually this right here is gonna be a perfect a thumbnail right here. Yeah, Let's do a thumbnail real quick. Do a thumbnail. L, cause that's exactly what happened right there. But um, I I but I guess you know to to just trying to finish off my thoughts on girls. You should always be open to the, the opportunity or the chance to pay. You know if you're really interested in a the guy, then you you want to invest in him, right? Invest your time. But if you don't want, if you're willing to invest your time, but not your finances, then are you really interested? Cause isn't your time is isn't your time more valuable than your finances? Cause you can make more money, you can't get more time. Absolutely. Well, so like that so if you're not, if you're not, you know, if you gotta take them out on a date, you don't even put t-shirt. your time. Put that on a t-shirt right there. You loyal. You loyal. <laughs> you. I, I don't know why I said that. It's kind of funny. I like it. 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 You the one. <laughs> I like it. But um, you know, if you're willing to invest your time, then you might as well pay because you're already wasting the most valuable thing you got anyways. It was not your time. You can't take that back. Yeah. And then when you realize. That he, you know, you wasted your time. You're like, eh, at least it was only like twenty bucks, right? Right. Yeah. Which is, oh, whoa, twenty bucks. I mean, I told you, she's gonna take to McDonald's. I'm not gonna eat, so she can. Listen, anytime we go to McDonald's, we definitely not gonna. I tell you, not gonna be bougie, but I mean, yeah, take me. Like, if you gonna take me, ah, I mean, like, you know, come on, like somewhere. Somewhere we can eat some Pick a restaurant food. that I can ask for a sponsorship. Go, pick one. For a sponsorship? Yeah, I haven't asked for a sponsorship yet. Uh, Brimstone. Sponsor us. Sponsor us. This is the second episode we talk about, you guys. Brimstone, we come to your place at least. We've gone to Brimstone in the last two to three months, what? Like at least once, almost once a week. I don't, I don't say once a week, but at least like once or twice a month, at least, right? Not more than that. You think so? A month, yeah. In, in a month? I mean, for the last like three months, you've gone a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so definitely got a lot. So Brimstone, yo, you know, sponsors, you, man. Hey, look, we'll talk about Go you. Go find me down here. <laughs> nah, we'll talk about you in every podcast. You cut us up some free steaks, some free wine. I'd be more than glad to talk about y'all all day. Hey, girls, if you want to take us to Brimstone, hey, we're, we're more we're more than open to the to the. I just scenario. want the food to be honest, though. I just want the food. Nah, he's lying. He doesn't. He doesn't just want the food, but you know that. I didn't say it for political reasons, you know what I mean? <laughs> I just say it for political reasons. I, okay. Can I use your hashtag for a second? Can I use your hashtag for a second? <laughs> you can, you can. Go ahead. Hashtag. Listen, America. Hashtag. I do not stand behind these allegations. Both of me, yo quiero ser tu abogado. <laughs> That's his sponsorship of I'm Down, Chris and George Incorporated. Thank you very much. That's his show. Oh, back to the show. I'm gonna use this hashtag. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> like, uh, like, a, like a hard wink. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, we really, I think we're done here, but we really want to hear from you guys. Uh, and we actually want to have a response video to you guys. So if you guys have questions, comments, concerns, we're going to hit you back with our response throughout the week. Yes, for sure. So uh, sure. we'll try to get another video in regarding this topic this week. So give us the response. Yeah, so drop drop it down on the comments, on YouTube. DM George. Probably, if you're the 1 of 10. The 1 of 10. Not the 9 of 10. <laughs> you can DM me. You'll we'll we'll see. see you know, um, send, send, send a picture of your bank account because, you know, it's bougie. So you got my shade. I'm not a girl yeah, there, right? Yeah. I'm not bougie either. But I say, I, 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 <laughs> you can't be bougie and drop a And by the way, guys, I just noticed the crop pants I was talking about, he's wearing them. He's First wearing of all, them. I want everybody to see something right now. I want you to see something right now. No, no, no. no. Look at this. Look at this. Look. The unveiling. Look at this. Dun. You see? Fold it in. I fold it in, everybody. I fold it. I have not. I have yet to so take girls, my I, I, I retract my offer to you guys being the 110. If you are okay with a guy who folds his sweatpants, then DM him. See, the problem is, right, when you're 5'8", and these companies out here... 5'8". I'm definitely 5'8". 
Oh, so you gonna try to take my so first it was my pants, now it's my size, so now it's my height. Now you see, man, I got, you see what I gotta do with you. So the next do. episode we're gonna have a ruler and measure how tall George is. <laughs> Alright man. This is it guys. I wanna Follow, thank you. like, comment. All the stuff. Yo, you gotta stop doing You are not allowed to do this. We're gonna get in trouble with somebody. Why? This, this is not right. <laughs> Guys, this is love, right? Here. Catch you this the is next, love. Catch you, catch you the next episode. Alright, y'all. Thank you. Like he said, like, subscribe, share, comment, interact with us, talk with us. See y'all the next one. For sure. Peace.